Yo, 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 it's your boy Ferelia. And since 3.5 just came out, I thought it would be a good time to go over some of the cool new zones that came out in Arcage. And I hope you enjoy this video. Starting off with my new favorite zone, Aegis Island, which has a lot of content to provide for all types of people. You can go farm coin purses, you can farm acid goblets, or you can even take part in the new Rift style event. The objective of this new Aegis Island Rift is to defend your seal from these hooligans that come to try to destroy it so that they can gain access to the Torch of Ipna. To start this quest, you talk to this guy right here and he'll send you on your way. To gain access to the Torch of Ipna, each faction has to defend their respective seal, which is the Western Seal, the Player Nation Seal, the Eastern Seal, and the Pirate Seal. Just like with CR or GR, every time a new wave spawns, they get stronger and stronger. Once you defeat the final boss, he will drop a portal that will send you to the Torch of Ipna. Completing this rift will give you a lot of honor and a good amount of acid goblets. Once at the Torch of Ipna, this guy will send you to an altar to receive a blessing. And once you receive this blessing, you get an additional acid goblet. There's a lot of new farming areas on Aegis Island, and uh, the reason you want to farm these is because when you do farm these, you'll receive acid goblets, which in turn are turned into acid vessels. And acid vessels are used in Aranor crafting. Whaleswell Straits is a small aquatic zone between Whalesong Harbor and Aegis Island. There's sharks out there, as well as some tusks, which look really fucking scary now that I think about it. Now moving on to Whalesong Harbor, or as I like to call it, Whale Carcass Harbor. There's a lot to do here and I can't wait to show you. You can continue the main storyline where it left off, as well as farm coin purses and cursed armor scraps for your Aranor gear. There's also a new Rift style event here as well, where you defend different types of defense bases. Oh look, a Whale Carcass. Your storyline quest will bring you here at some point. I haven't done it yet, so I actually don't know what's in there. Please let me know in the comments if you do know. To play Whale Song Harbor Tower Defense, go to the Crimson Watch camp and talk to these guys right here, and they'll send you right on your way. Each faction has their own defense base. There's a Nuyan defense base, the Player Nation defense base, the Heranian defense base, and the Pirate defense base. The objective of this rift is to use the cannons and mines to stop the endless horde of different mobs from destroying your tower. Eventually Jakar will spawn, he's the boss. Once you kill him, well, there's basically nothing after that. Uh, you have to kill him for your storyline quest, and that's about it. If you're lucky enough to finish before anyone else, you can go destroy the other faction's tower, or just destroy them for honor. It's a lot of fun, it's good PvP, and you might as well do it because it's content, it keeps the servers alive, it keeps it interesting, and it's just a lot of fun in the end, even if you don't win. There's a lot of new farming areas in Whale Song Harbor so that you can go get your coin purses or your cursed armor scraps. Once you've farmed 200 cursed armor scraps, you can turn it into a complete cursed armor, which is used in crafting your Aranor gear, so make sure you do that. Once you have one acid vessel and one complete cursed armor, as well as 50 dragon essence stabilizers, you can craft the Aranor scroll of your choice. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up or even subscribe. I also go live on Twitch every now and then, so if you want to go check that out, I would love to see you guys later.